This panel is a multi-stage amplifier panel which we use in teaching electronics at TAFE New South Wales. It has three stages of amplification. It has a field effect transistor at the beginning of the circuit. It has a common collector BJT in the middle and it has a common emitter BJT at the far end. It has a decoupled power supply with this resistor and this capacitor. It's fed by 12 volts. I have the oscilloscope connected showing the uh, yellow is the input and the blue is the output. The amplifier by itself has a gain, a proven gain on the oscilloscope using a signal generator and, and then measuring both the input voltage and the output voltage. It has a proven gain of 22 times. By doing the mathematics on the amplifier, we also calculate the gain to be around about 22 times. The gain in the common emitter amplifier at the end is quite easy to work out and that's one of the very first types of gain with transistors that we uh, do in the classroom. The common collector amplifier, the gain is also very easy at around about 0.95. And the FET, the FET's a little bit more difficult. You either have to use a quadratic equation to solve the gain for the FET um, or you can use a graph, a graphical method to solve the gain for the FET. The gain in this particular FET works out to about 2.4 times. Uh, most JFET circuits like this do in fact have quite low gain. The particular board has 12 faults which can be switched in from 1 to 12, one fault only at a time. I'll be making more follow-up videos on this fault finding panel, this amplifier fault finding panel, showing how to fault find fault 1 to fault 12 using diagnostic procedures with the digital multimeter and the oscilloscope, moving the oscilloscope to various test points in the circuit while each fault is dialed up, then comparing our calculations in the circuit with our measured values and diagnose what the actual fault is and what component would be faulty according to the conditions of that fault. This is Greg Moore for TAFE New South Wales.